Hello and welcome to this jazz guitar lesson. I'm Chris Whiteman and thanks so much for joining me. Today we're going to look at um, creating tension in a static situation. So in a situation where there is only one chord, uh, we are going to play two different arpeggios. We're going to play uh, the arpeggio of the chord that's being played and then we're going to go a half step below the root of that chord and play a diminished seven arpeggio. Um, this is a concept that I learned uh, from Barry Harris, gosh, probably 20 years ago. Uh, it's just a very hip way to create some tension uh, and some motion uh, in your playing. So in our examples here, we are going to be in the key of E minor. So E minor will be our tonic or our tonal center. And uh, I'm going to use E minor 6 for my arpeggio. Uh, the minor 6 is just a little bit darker, has a nice quality uh, to it. To create our tension, we are going to go down a half step from our root uh, to D, from E. We're going to move down to D sharp, and we're going to play a D sharp diminished seven arpeggio. Um, and you can think about it this way: we have we have tension and we have release. Uh, the D sharp diminished seven arpeggio is going to be the tension, and the E minor six arpeggio is going to be the resolution. Uh, and as we change back and forth between these two arpeggios, um, we're going to hear harmonic motion. We're going to hear the harmony of both of those arpeggios. Um, this concept works great in a static harmonic situation. So uh, places where there is a single chord for an extended period of time. Uh, we, we could have E minor um, maybe for two bars, four bars, or, or longer. Uh, and we can create tension and motion by moving back and forth between these two arpeggios. So a little theoretical background uh, on why this works. Uh, the short answer is that the diminished arpeggio half step below the root um, is uh, really a, just a five chord, right? And so we get kind of a disguised five one cadence when we move from D sharp diminish seven into, into E minor. Um, so in the key of E minor, um, B7 would be our five chord. So we would have B7 to E minor as right? five one. Um, when we have a five one cadence into a minor key, uh, it's, it's quite common to voice that five chord with a flat nine. So we would have a B7 flat nine. six right so that b7 flat nine and the d sharp diminished seventh chords uh they share all of the same notes with the exception of the b so so the d sharp diminished seventh uh arpeggio uh has all of the notes of B7 flat nine except the B. So we can call it a, a rootless B7 flat nine. So they're really the same chord. They're functioning the same. Um, the notes in the B7 flat nine are, are B, D sharp, F sharp, A, and C. And the notes in the D sharp diminished seven are D sharp, F sharp, A, and C, right? So what's the advantage of using a D-sharp diminished uh, as opposed to the B7 flat 9? Um, it just it lays out really nice on the fingerboard. Um, it voice leads really well into the E minor 6. Uh, and it's really easy to find because if I know where my tonic is, I just have to go down a half step. Um, so it ends up being a nice uh, fluid uh, alternative to the, the, the full B7 flat 9. Oh. All right, so let's go over um, the individual elements. So the E minor six arpeggio and, uh, and the D sharp uh, diminished seven arpeggio. So the E minor six. So I have E, which is my root, G, which is my flat third, is my fifth and C sharp is my sixth and then we have a repeat in the next octave E root G flat third B is my 
fifth. C sharp is my sixth. Finish off on my root again. All right, so that's the E minor six arpeggio that we're going to use. Uh, and then the D sharp diminished. So I have D sharp. I have F sharp. I have A. I have C. D sharp. F sharp. C, D sharp, and in relation to the chord, I have root, flat third, flat fifth, double flat seven, root, flat third, flat five, double flat seven, root. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pair these two arpeggios together uh, in a sequence that oscillates uh, each arpeggio every two beats. So we're going to go up one, come down the next, and so forth. E minor six, come down the D sharp diminished. finishing with an E minor 6-9 voicing. So you put it all together. So there are many applications um, for this concept. Um, I could use it as an ending. Maybe I'm playing uh, Autumn Leaves. I'll uh, hear the last eight bars. Okay, this will get you started with this concept. I'm gonna do a couple of follow-up videos in the near future, uh, demonstrating some additional applications. Uh, so thanks so much for joining me and I'll see you next time.